Hello and welcome to Educator.com. In today's lesson, we're going to be covering Cartweaver 3 PHP setup. So as we've gone through some of these lessons, we've, you know, again, we've gone back and then we've set the server up. We've installed Cartweaver now as a plugin. Now we're actually going to set up the files so they can actually be installed into your existing website. Um, and you can get some of these, um, start to establish some of this functionality. So this is going to be pretty much the the last of the you know major setup and then everything else is just going to be editing each file type after that to get exactly what you want to output to each site okay so in this learning objectives uh, you're basically going to learn how um, how Cartweaver works and how it functions um, in the website learn how to create the database and then we're gonna learn how to connect to the database so this is like the major step that you actually need to do since now everything's been established once again once it's done um, everything that we're gonna be using from then on out um, we'll be using through the content management system which is like the interface to, to um, of the database that we're gonna be using so as we go through we'll go into a little bit more uh, explain more in detail so in these slides I've actually put together for you is this like a step-by-step -step of how to do this for installing the Cartweaver um, files into your website. So not necessarily installing into the actual, um, your computer, but installing um, all the files into, um, so they can work and we can use them for, for later on. So this box here is, um, again, when you have a Dreamweaver open, you're basically going to use um, again you can't see this the toolbar here but that's why so I did put this down a slide so I'm gonna actually go and um, you're gonna go down to Cartweaver install Cartweaver 3 and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get the dialog box here um, and we'll move this out of the way a little bit actually won't move um, but since I already have a name, and I'm actually going to step back after this, I set this up to explain what's going on, but I want to at least show you how we set up this, the folder first. So I've already established this website into the MAMP server. And so we'll go back right now so this all really does make sense. Um, it needs to know where to put the files at, basically. And since we're going to create this as a store, um, appropriate name to set up is, we'll just set it up as store hit up create and now it's going to we'll choose it hit OK and it says would you like to recreate the site cache say yes because this is going to redirect all the um, stuff for you um, and it's just going to create everything and so what happens is it will install here and it'll say installation successful so that's what you want to see you don't want to see you know any errors um, so as we close this down I'm going to show you now what happened. So we went in and this is the actual folder of the website, the one that just consisted of the uh, few pages that we did. Well now look, in store I've created um, a whole bunch of files. So I'm going to show you why this was so um, important to create. Cartweaver 3, CW3, that's all it stands for. Um, all these files, all these directories, um, this was all put together by the developers of Cartweaver that connect this whole store together and it works with the content management system. So this is the simplicity that I'm talking about. Um, just imagine having to write all this code. Um, if you're not an advanced coder, I mean, you're not going to know how to do this stuff. I mean, it, it takes a lot of time and practice to actually go through this and it takes years to learn it. Um, unless it's just your thing you just like code and you get it um, but for the average user um, that's just trying to get you know this up and running um, this is kind of what we do uh, this is an easy way of going through and seeing um, what what Cartweaver can do so a lot of files that are created in here so I'm going to expand this out a little bit so we can see more of the file names um, but as you can see um, all, everything that's involved here um, down to the product sizes and everything which will become really important later on when you want to show different size images for your stuff as people browse through um, your assets we're gonna go into um, some of these uh, folders some of them will never touch because you don't really need to touch them there's no reason to but we will touch some of the assets uh, we'll 
actually import all our images back into this. And then again, with that nice Dreamweaver feature, that which it, you saw earlier, if you want to you know recreate the cache, it's going to do that, and it'll, it'll put all the code and um, where we actually had our images in the earlier uh, website, the homepage. It's going to actually put all the new lines of code for it so it, it like moves it over and we don't have to basically go back in and hand code this all back into again so again Dreamweaver having that feature in there also a plus to have so you can kind of see why developers start to use this more and more because when they're on time budget they got to get stuff going um, they don't have the time to re go back and do all this again so this is the nice part but you know, as you start off, you re we recommend that you do learn how to code by hand. Um, it just makes it easier to understand um, and take certain code out so that you might not need. But assets, images, uh, the admin, uh, we're going to be messing with the application page a little bit later and go into that to set up this uh, information. Um, actually, this application right here. So this is the store. This is all the files it puts in. Um, <coughs> And hopefully it, it uh, um, again, you don't really have to understand everything about it, like what the code they wrote, but definitely if you understand that um, it saved you a lot of time, um, that's, that's all you really need to, to know and how easy this is going to be when we go back in to do all this. So, all right. So here is that. So that's the directory. Um, let's go to the next slide here. So we set this up. Um, but let me take a step back and I'm actually going to go to show you how we set this up. And when you, when you set up a site in Dreamweaver, you need to define the site. Any site you do to publish into a browser, whether it's a server-side um, code like PHP and MAMP, or if it's just regular HTML. So definitely have to do it. So when you go to the Dreamweaver top bar uh, where you see File, Edit, View, there's going to be a button on top that says Site. For you, you'll, you'll create the new site, give it its name. So mine's just kiddo uh, underscore setup. That's just all I named it. You can name it anything you want, but that's just what I, I named it. Um, since I already have established it, um, you can see it here. I'm just going to manage sites. So when you have something that you want to change later on, um, you can have all these different websites here that you've actually set up on your own server. Um, but we're going to go into edit because I want to show you some of the important keys that you need to understand um, this. You can go to the basic. You don't have to go to necessarily the, the advanced. Again, if you're an advanced user and this is something you already know, you can go right in and uh, you know, set this stuff up. Um, but again, I gave it my name, kiddo underscore setup. Um, this is the local host. Remember, local host is our MAMP server. That's, that's what it's going to talk to um, because we are using um, PHP. So click next. Yes, I'm using uh, server-side technology um, or server technology, PHP, my admin. It gives you some other functions here, like again, Cold Fusion, ASP, um, even JavaScript, ASP. But PHP is what we're using. Click Next. <coughs> when, I add, when, I, when I edit my files, I go back to the directory. So you can click on this little folder here. And it goes to the directory where I set up the folder. And when I show you where this folder's at after this, um, it'll start to make sense where I'm hiding all this, all these folders and why they have to be in this folder if you're using MAP. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel because I already chose the folder. Um, click Next. This is kind of important to know because this is how MAP reads uh, its code. So localhost has to be there um, just like this, uh, colon. Um, 8888, that's just the server code. It can be changed to anything you want, but you got to change it to that home page in MAMP um, under uh, what? If you go into the server box, which I believe I still have open over here, um, you can change all that if you go into the preferences. So I recommend just not messing with it um, because it's if you don't really know what, what's going on there, you don't need to change all this stuff. Um, just keep it the way it is. Um, but the most important thing is you do put the colons, the four eights, uh, forward slash, and then kiddo underscore setup. That's the name that I set it up. And when you hit test URL, you should get, it should test correctly. If it doesn't, it'll tell you it doesn't test correctly. Um, go ahead and click next. Um, Want to use a remote server? I just clicked yes. It's fine. Again, it's going to connect me back to local host. So it's just on my machine. It's not really on a real network or anything. Um, where everything uh, is going to basically take effect when I change it. 
Um, you can check no here, click done, and it will, when you do it the first time, it'll say successful and it'll give you a little box and you're done. Um, so that's how I set up the, um, for, the, for MAMP, the server, okay? Now where the actual file is, um, when we install MAMP, you're gonna, if you're on a Mac, uh, you're gonna go into your, um, see where all your applications are at. So I will open that up for you and show you where that's at. So when you open up your applications folder, you're gonna go into um, what should be MAMP right here. Just go into that. HTDocs is the actual server folder for MAMP. So you never wanna change the name, you just keep it HDDocs, okay? That's just pretty universal for, for the program. So when you go into here, um, you notice I have two folders. This is the one we're actually working with. This is where the folder needs to live. This is the, this is the main folder with all those files that we created. Um, so store is gonna have all the files. Again, you're gonna see tons of files there. So um, this is where you wanna put it because this is how MAMP's gonna read. It's gonna know that that server folder is there. That's where it's pulling the information from when we type in the server uh, name, okay? Uh, so that's pretty much that setup for that. So hopefully that makes more sense of what, why we were doing all this and where this name comes from. So you, you want to define your site first before you go into install uh, Cartweaver because it's going to ask you for the name. You want a name. Um, if you're doing live updates and you have a, a .com name and you set it up already, you can use the .com name as well. Um, we're not using .com names here because it's just a test site um, for the instruction. So as we already set it up, we've gone through this already. Um, let's go back and go to